Hey everyone, it's Ashley, your independent sensing consultant. Welcome back to my channel. You know what this bag means with the tag. Also, I thought I emptied it, but I didn't. <laughs> um, this little bin is for the Home Fragrance Roundup. I have it empty today because I'm semi loose, use that loosely, organized. Um, I've separated everything out. I'm pretty sure this isn't going up on Friday, so happy fragrance whatever day this goes up, but this is the weekly-ish Home Fragrance Roundup. We're gonna talk about everything that I have been using for Home Fragrance. Gonna start with Scentsy non-wax products. Let's go. So, first I have this Carbar Clip in Cider Mill. Don't know if you guys are aware, <laughs> Cider Mill is not my favorite fragrance necessarily. Everyone raves about this, but there's just something about it that I don't love. Um, it was okay in the car bar. It wasn't like as overpowering as the wax, I guess I would say, but I still got the hints of whatever was like not vibing with me. So I only used one and I think I'm going to put the other one in Corey's car. I really should do that because I just have it in my car in the middle like console. But how I've never used these so I just wanted to try them out and I bought this. I don't know why I specifically bought Cider Mill. I think I had free product credit left and I was like I want to try a fall one. And the only other fall option is like maple apple bourbon and I was like no I don't like maple apple bourbon. Um... So I'm pretty sure that's like the only scents it came in for some reason. I really should do my homework. Okay. It comes in like a lot of summery scents, but not a lot of winter scents. Yeah. It literally comes in maple, apple, bourbon, and cider mill for fall scents. So I went with cider mill. I'm just not a fan super fan. I think these work better when the heat goes because it like heats out your vent, you know, versus like air out your vent. They probably work fine as long as air is blowing out of your vent. I found if I put this on like the vents, you know, by my steering wheel and I put the air on the vents that go like to your feet because I didn't want it to be on my face. This obviously wasn't as strong as when I turned the vents on, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. So I'm really curious to try out the car bar clips in like a scent I like more, maybe like Amazon Rain or something. Um, I need to check what they come in in the new catalog. I probably will be ordering some car bars for sure because I really prefer the car bars. But we'll see, I guess. Also, you're probably going to hear some Jemmy meowing because... I just got home and she's feisty. Um, okay, here she comes. Hi. You want to say hi? No. <laughs> I, or we, me and Corey, went through Washer Whiffs and Palm Beach Breeze. I have the little scooper in the bottom. I told you guys, not necessarily you guys, but I posted on my Instagram story. I like to keep these little scoopers and use them in my Scentsy Soaks. Um, I think I have one or two going already so I don't know that I need to necessarily keep this one but as for Palm Beach Breeze I would say this is like a medium scent for lingering on the clothes um I still have the dryer disc the scent soft and the laundry liquid going because I made some samples out with the whiffs so I finished this container before all the other products typically I think if you use this system how it's supposed to be everything goes at the same time however I just I don't like to do that I like to mix and match like I like to use a bunch of different whiffs like while I'm doing laundry so I'm not following the system too hot here and I made samples obviously it doesn't account for <laughs> making samples with your whiffs so we'll see those in later videos let's talk pods I have in here first day of fall pods these are only like straight up spicy now. Like all I'm getting is straight up spice. These were like, I got these. I I really am kind of on a mission that I want to try like all the pods. I don't know why, but it's kind of like my unofficial mission of Sensi is just like, I want to try all the pods. Um, I did not try every single fall pod, but I think 
like I don't just I don't know if I'm gonna try every single one from the next catalog but I really want to try a lot instead of just buying like five of my favorite I really want to see what they're all about you know what I mean so I ended up getting this one partly for that reason and partly because Lisa Roberry like raved about this specific pod like raved so I was like okay I gotta check it out and I didn't love it like it was okay but it was just a little bit too spicy I think like woodsy spicy if that makes sense like I'm fine with spice but it was just like almost woodsy in a way it says just picked pumpkin autumn woods ground nutmeg and a dash of cinnamon I I don't know it was just kind of like an earthy spice and I don't know if that's what threw me off of it because even the wax I wasn't like loud it just kind of smells earthy I'll say um and then I put in joy and wonder pods and took out toasted acorn and oak pods so toasted acorn and oak wasn't the strongest in the pods and I found in the wax toasted acorn and oak took on kind of a bakery type aspect and in all other forms I used it in it took on more of like a woodsy aspect and I preferred the bakery version <laughs> versus the woods version so I don't know I used these up they weren't my favorite I don't feel like they were the strongest either I would say maybe like light to medium the first day of fall was maybe like a solid medium somewhat high depending how sensitive you are to spice if you're sensitive to spice they were probably like a high if you're like I love spicy things they were maybe more like a medium just saying um and I put in joy and wonder so that is going now uh now that I've done this I probably should switch out to the next pod set I'll have to flip around that um I try to like continue to rotate through my pods but I have this weird thing it's almost like you know where you hoard your favorite fragrance I like hate putting in a new set of pods which is so dumb because like that's literally the whole concept is to put in new ones when they're you can't smell them anymore so I should put in a new pod set but join wonder I really like these I have like two backups um but now transitioning to the wax I'll just start I did some joy and wonder I've been kind of doing this thing where when I start a pod I'm like doing the same wax on the same day I don't know um joy and wonder I loved it I really enjoy it I think though I came to the realization that I might take this out of my club. I really, really enjoy it. But I'm just like over fall and winter. Crazy, right? I know. Um, it's We're about to get a snowstorm tomorrow. But I'm just like, I'm kind of over it. And so I am really like need to take some things out of my club. So I think I'm going to take this out of my club. Which sounds crazy. Maybe to some people. To some, it's probably like, yeah, just take it out if you don't like it. <laughs> I just, I really enjoy it. But I think the last time I warmed it, I just remember thinking like, do I need to pay for this quarterly? Will I be upset if like it never returns? Will I be so upset that I like, I don't know, you know? I'm just like, I think I should take it out. So that was like a really dramatic way of me saying, I think I'm going to take out Joy and Mother. <laughs> Um, okay, let's talk about this brick quick. Um, sugar cookie. <sighs> uh, sugar cookie is going away at the end of the month. I worked on a little bit of this brick and that's why I popped it in here. Allegedly, according to Lisa Roberry, not that she is the Sensi queen, but she did say, <laughs> not that it can't be like unofficial, but she mentioned in a video that Sugar Cookie Brick is staying around in Sensi Club, to her knowledge, even though it is discontinuing. Um, kind of in the same way Skinny Dippin stays around in Sensi Club in brick form, even if it retires in the spring summer. However, obviously, that doesn't mean it will stay as a brick in Sensi Club forever. I mean, she didn't say that part, but I'm just inferring, like, they could remove Scentsy bricks at any time. They're not guaranteed to stay there. And bricks are not necessarily like, I don't know how that would work with like always get my bar and stuff. I just, 
I'm speculating. Okay. So though this potentially may be available, even if it's not, it may be available in brick form, even if it's not in bar form through Scentsy Club, I'm probably gonna still put a bar of this in my club just because even if I can buy a brick and I'll probably personally use bricks, buy bricks to use myself because look, I love this brick. I love this scent, first of all. It's so good. I love it. Um, if I, my customers, if they're looking for sugar cookie are not going to be looking for necessarily a brick's worth. Like if my mom comes to me and is like, Hey, can I get a bar of sugar cookie? She's not going to want to buy this. Like there's just no way. So I think it's, I'm going to have to put a bar in my club because I just don't think it's reasonable <laughs> to be like, Hey, let me just give you like four cubes out of my brick. <laughs> I feel like that just would not work. <laughs> so I'll probably end up putting sugar cookie in my club because it's so popular and I'm heartbroken. <laughs> I'm heartbroken over it because it's just such a staple and I think people are not going to put it in their clubs and then they're going to freak out like 10 days into February. Like, oh my gosh, it's actually gone or they're not going to want to buy a brick's worth. Once again, I'm making assumptions, but... It's a hard month, you guys. Bring back my bar and discontinuing the same month. It, they why they gotta do us like that? Uh, apple cherry strudel is going in my club. This is so good, and I can't believe I get it. It's kind of fall winter, but what if you don't like fruity scents? Like, what if you are not a spring summer person? You're gonna have nothing to melt. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. Um, cause they're doing away with like so many good bakery things. If you're not a fruity floral person like me, <laughs> we're going to struggle. <laughs> so, okay. This is Granny Smith apple, cherry, and vanilla drizzle. And it's so good. It's really good. I really want to try it mixed with sugar cookie and see if I get a somewhat better version of a maraschino sugar cookie recreation type of scent. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't tried it. I have some more bars of apple cherry cereal on the way because it's good, but it's going in my club. Okay. Be Mary. I also did. This one is pine boughs, holly leaf, and cassis. To me, it's a kind of like a men's cologne with like a hint of Christmas tree type holiday smells. I don't know. It wasn't like my favorite. I'll just say that. Okay. Next I have red berry and spruce. This is cranberry, raspberry, and blue spruce. Okay. In the clam, I'm not getting the smell that I was getting in my warmers. I'm going to make a bold statement here. I really, really liked this. It is kind of like a tree scent also mixed with the men's cologne but better than me mary i know that's like the exact same um description this one has like a little bit of fruits in it though it has that cranberry and raspberry um which don't necessarily come across that way they just kind of smell like fruits mixed with that like tree slash men's cologne type vibe I was warming this and I loved it. And once again, kind of the same as Joy and Wonder, I had a realization. On the first, I made a list of everything that was going away and what needs to go in my club. And of course, this was not a consideration at that time because I had not warmed it yet. So when I did warm it, I was like, okay, crap. Now I either need to make room by axing something or just bite the bullet and I'm gonna have to pay six extra dollars because I really want this in my club. I really like this. And I kind of came to the self-realization agreement that, Jimmy, that I'm going to keep this and remove for sale Wonderland. I know, I know. I haven't done it yet because that just like kind of scares me because I'm like, I really like Wasail Wonderland, but I really like this one. And I think 
I'm teetering more towards this one because I would prefer this fruit over orange, which is Wasil Wonderland. That's a really bold statement, Dem. I know. It doesn't smell the same in this as it did when it was going, but trust me, while it was going, I was like, yes, I'm giving Wasil the boot because I love this. And then I was like, wait a minute, did I just say that? <laughs> like, did I really just think that? So I know I high praised Wasil Wonderland and I love that but I'm trying to be brutal. I'm trying to be brutal and be strong. And I think I'm going to give that the ax. I know. I know. Okay. Um, these, some of these are like not finished. I've just been working on them. So, uh, the Colts played the other day. And usually when, the, if you don't know, my husband's a Colts fan. So, Typically on game day, if Corey stays home, I like, especially if it's an evening game and not a weekend game, I let him pick the wax as like good juju. I, it's a fun way to get him involved, you know, and it's like, oh, bringing good luck. We turn on the Colts warmer, that type of stuff. Whatever. <laughs> um, so the I pulled my melting basket out and I was like, could you pick a scent? And the funniest thing is he was like, let's do a mix. Here's what we're going to do. Snow Kiss Cranberry and Silver Bells. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? This is such a random mix. Like, are you are you being serious? He was like, yeah, let's do these two. And I was like, okay, let's do these two. So Snow Kiss Cranberry actually isn't around anymore. I have a couple bars of it still from the last fall winter and like they're juicy. I don't know if you can see that red hanging around in there, but this is like a cranberry but very body care-esque cranberry. Don't love it necessarily on its own. That's why I took it out of my club. Um, but it is nice. It's a nice cranberry. I think just as it keeps going, it's really body care-like. So it gets to be kind of much. So we mixed in Silver Bells. We did alternating warmers. This is Mint Candy Canes, Winter Fair, Caramel, and Vanilla Sugar. So it has a little bit of that mintiness, but the pear and the caramel and the vanilla sugar make it kind of like perfumey in a way, like a really nice kind of wintry perfumey type of scent. Just a very slight hint of mint. So honestly, props to Corey. These went together really, really well just because that body care-esque type of scent between the both of them really mixed really well. So I don't think I have any more Snow Kiss Cranberry. Maybe one clam, maybe, but I don't know if I do. I'd do this again. Um, I'd recommend it to you guys if you're like, I don't like this one, how can I use it up? I'd recommend mixing it with Silver Bells, it was really good. So I have four cubes left of Silver Bells. I really like Silver Bells. I think this might be the mint scent that goes in my club. Um, compared to like Perfect Peppermint and Vanilla Mint, I haven't finalized that yet because I just, I, I don't want to put all three of them in there per se, but I do, you know, <laughs> so I, right now I have written down silver bells, so we'll see what happens with that. So that one's not actually finished. And then I was like, okay, let's finish up Snow Kiss Cranberry. I want to try another little mix with it. So I ended up actually doing alternating warmers on the next time I changed my wax with Snow Kiss Cranberry and Black Forest Pine. I was like, maybe we'll get a little like berry slash pine moment going on so once again I did the last four cubes of this and then four cubes of this and that worked out really well uh black forest pine I think is still available at least probably to put in your club this to me is like a tree scent with men's cologne how many times can I say tree scent with men's cologne um this one's a little bit more wood type based but it's I think this is my favorite of the tree only type scents from this like 2021 winter <laughs> I was gonna say this year but you know 2022 you know okay so this one was really good um I think the black forest pine took over a little bit more versus in the other mix snow kiss cranberry was kind of the show stopper like f more forward I guess so it was good but yeah I have four cubes of this left I don't know that I'll mix like these two together because black forest pine would way overpower silver bells and I like it too much to do that. 
Um, I'll maybe either spread this out with like some happy birthday or sugar cookie or something, or I don't know, maybe do that. I might do that mixed with icicles and evergreen just for fun, you know? Okay. Worked on a little bit of mystery man. <laughs> this is white cedar, verbena, and bergamot. It smells like a man, like straight up. The funniest part is if you like at a Cincy event, <laughs> I don't know the last one if this it's if this was because it was in the front of the bin or if just like the color and the name or whatever but every like couple that came by the um if there was like a man significant other or if like a male came by the booth this is like the one that they were like oh I love this one and the girl would be like put that down like are you joking like <laughs> It was just so funny. They all picked it up and they would be like, oh, this one's the best. <laughs> I'm like, it's hilarious. It smells like man. It smells like men's cologne. I don't know. I've been using it in the bedroom. I'm not like crazy over it, but every time I smell it or see it, it literally makes me think of every man stopping by and being like, this is the best. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay new to the catalog eucalyptus wreath this is a new scent from you know fall winter I was like this last new catalog this is fresh eucalyptus juniper and frosted mint this is nice it's definitely eucalyptus it definitely has something else in it besides eucalyptus which has to be either it has to be the juniper because mint the mint is like spearmint. Like it's not peppermint for sure. I think I like this more on my first sniffs rather than as it's aged, like it's cured, sat, whatever. I just don't love it as much as I thought I did. It kind of reminds me of a spa. This isn't going to go in my club. I think Corey liked that one, but hey, man. If I'm paying for the club, I get to choose what's in it, you know? <laughs> I, that one's not going to make my club. I have three cubes left. I'll just use those up in the bedroom. Um, and then the last one, uh, no, I actually have more. This one also I worked on just a little bit, three cubes, and this is cashmere and corduroy. This is vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. I really like this one. I really like it in the clam, but I like it even more when it's actually going in the warmer. It's so beautiful. It's so strong. I really love it. And I think what I'm going to do is I have some bedroom scents in my club right now, like Lights Out and Shut Eye from like the Sleep Collection. <laughs> what was that called? The Catching Z's Collection. Um, I think maybe I'm going to take those out and just replace it with this because they're all kind of in that same vein. All of them I'm slowly wishing could replace my beloved Pacific Sandalwood, which they haven't. However, I really like this one. I think I like this one the most under Pacific Sandalwood. And this one's very strong. So like Pacific Sandalwood wasn't. This one's a good performer. Yeah, I think I'm going to boot those and keep this one. While those ones are really good at work, um, I can keep Sense of My Club for work. Like that's just... That's just too far. That's cross the line. <laughs> I can't be doing that. So um, some bring back my bars. I have salted caramel cupcake. This is really good. If you're a bakery person like myself, <laughs> take it from me if you like caramel and bakery. This is good. It's like not the same as every other caramel bakery. <laughs> non-bakery lovers will tell you different <laughs> it's good though you guys it's just like a nice it's literally what it says salted caramel cupcake it's so good and the caramel definitely is the forefront not the cupcake it's the caramel so maybe if you like don't like caramel you'll be adverse to that uh, but maybe you wouldn't have picked it up anyway because it literally is called salted caramel cupcake. Okay, and then the mix, I put this on my Instagram so you guys already know, but I did a mix. <laughs> Corey's a fan. It's banana nut bread and banana rama. I know Hannah talked about this. I feel like just because they're so close to each other on the Bring Back My Bar list, like a lot of people will probably mix these together. Uh, but banana nut bread 
is banana nut bread. It's like nuts, spices, you know, that what you'd make to make a banana bread. So to me, this is perfect because the banana is not that forward. I'm not like a huge banana person. Corey is like all about the fruits and I'm all about the bakery. So to me, I'm like, oh, this is perfect. I love it on its own. So this definitely club. Um, to appease him and because I only had four cubes of this, I was like, we'll mix in four cubes I had of banana rama. And then I obviously have these three left. So this is Laffy Taffy yellow banana. <laughs> like it is that 100%. Like to a T. Um, yeah, I don't, it's straight up Laffy Taffy banana, the yellow one, like hundred percent. So it's definitely, if you want this to be more banana, mix this in because this is literally only banana. It was good. I did them in alternating warmers. Um, my one larger warmer I did mixed. I did them both, uh, which was fine. Sometimes when I mix things, one scent just like way overpowers the other. Like it just happens that way. Uh, but it was fine. And then I did alternating and it was really good. And I asked Corey if he liked what I had going. And he said, is it a mix of banana nut bread and banana rama? And I'm like, how did you know that? You definitely cheated and you looked. And he was like, no, I can just smell them by the warmers. And then yeah, I had the bars literally laying right there. And I was like, you sure you didn't look? The bars are literally right here. And he was like, oh no, I had no idea. So I don't know if he was playing a joke on me or not. But he said he really liked it. And I posted online um, on Instagram and was like, I really did. I did this mix. I like it. <laughs> I was really posting and asking, do I need banana rama in my club to justify like this good mix? I may throw Corey a bone and put this in for him. We'll see where my club ends up. But <laughs> do I want to do that? No. <laughs> Will I throw him a bone for being a good husband? We'll see. But I'm going to save these three cubes for him because currently I'm out of banana bread and I'm not going to melt these on my own. That's going to have to be all him. Okay, let's talk candles quick. Sorry, I need to be better about doing this weekly. And then we'll talk about fender wax. I'll go through these fast. Okay, so this is an empty and also dirty. Those are on automatic timer. No need to freak out. Um, this is pumpkin spice latte from Bath and Body Works. I did it in the candle crawl. It has no scent left. It was good. It's pumpkin pie spice, freshly brewed espresso, homemade whipped cream, and a sparkling sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. The more this went in the candle crock, the sweeter it got and the less coffee it got. So I was like, I have to take this out. It's like making me sick. Um, but it was good. And I love this white barn packaging with the skinny lid. It's kind of like dirty because it was in the crock and it's a little bit like stained and whatnot. But this was good. I have another one of those so and then I the next I have just been like working on one is crushed candy cane in the single wick this looks literally full because I think I've only burned it maybe once and it didn't even pull out all the way but like I could care less on the single wicks I don't have the notes of this but this is like really sweet sweet peppermint like a candy cane this single wick I only did it one time I should have redid it but like Maybe this next week. Um, it was like almost non-existent smelling. Like it was really, really light. You want to come here? What's going on? Yeah, come on over. Um, it was like, oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jim. Come on. <laughs> um, it was almost non-existent. Like it's, I don't know. Jimmy. She's literally knocking over the tripod. Okay, let's not do that. Come on, crazy. She likes to play with all these little buddies on here. She like bats at them. <laughs> okay, um, maybe I have the three wicks, so I might try to do them together. I don't know if I just like didn't let this fully pull out long enough or what the situation was, but it just like wasn't scenting like it should have been. Jam, what are you doing? She's 
she loves the printer. The printer is back there. Um, okay, Mary Cookie. This is Fresh Baked Cookies Sparkling Sugar Crystals Rich Vanilla. Jen, what the heck? Come on. Oh, she's guaranteed going to knock this back over. <laughs> she's sitting kind of crooked now. <laughs> um, this is really good. I've done it a couple times. Um, pretty thick on the wicks here. I think I've kind of gotten a gist. <laughs> I think I've kind of gotten a gist with Bath and Body Works wicks because I was having some troubles. The thicker ones like this tend to get more mushroomy and I shouldn't trim them right away. And the more skinny wicks that have like that metal piece in the middle, that should... I should trim those because those tend, from what I've kind of evaluated, those tend to burn a little bit hotter and the flames get taller. So I should, those ones I kind of have to like trim right away and watch. I mean, obviously I'll cut off these mushrooms, but these ones I found if I trim them before I initially light it, they get puny faster. So Mary Cookie, don't know if you can still get this, but this is strong, 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 strong. Smells literally like cookies and sugar, and it's so strong. And I can't believe she knocked over Liza. Oh my gosh. Um, peppermint hot chocolate is one I've probably been working on the most. Skinny lid, teal. I love this packaging. This one is cool peppermint silky milk chocolate and sweet cream. This one, it's like not the best at pooling out. Um, the first couple times I was like tin foiling it, but then I was like, I don't care anymore. Uh, this one has those skinny wicks that have been giving me trouble. As you can tell, maybe, can you tell a little bit this dirtiness? This one's been giving me a little bit of trouble. I think the dirtiness is literally only right here. And some of it is because of my like swirling, like I try to put it out and then the flames like touching the edge, you know? Um, some of it, these have been a little bit smoky. So I think I've realized I kind of need to keep the wicks no longer than this or the flames just really dance around and give off those little like puffy black things that aren't allowed in my house. So this one, I'll probably honestly throw this in the crock before the end of January because I have burned it down quite a bit and I will continue to burn it because it's so good. And it's gonna be amazing in the crock. It's so good burning. I know it's gonna be amazing in the crock. It's so strong and usually, I don't know, peppermint's strong, but I feel like sometimes in candles, it just doesn't come across because you get that burning smell, but that one is like bomb. So. I am working on that. Okay, now for vendor wax, I have a few empties and then I'll talk about, if you guys are still here, I'll talk about um, things I'm working on. So L3 Lavender Palo Santo and Palo Santo Dope Cross Dreams. I just mix these because one of my goals, which I'm gonna do a video on, but one of my goals in 2022 is to finish my big pile of vendor wax because I really need to go through it. It's a mess. So these were good, not standouts. And I don't know that any of these are gonna be like repurchases because I'm really trying to not buy vendor wax in 2022. We'll see. Um, Christmas cookie therapy is eggnog cookie therapy and a tiny hint of gingerbread. This is like a knock to me on Rose Girls Christmas Eve and Cookie Land. I don't know that they're like intentionally doing that, but they're kind of the same vibe to me. I like that one better. The eggnog is like kind of spicy. Or maybe it's the fact that this one was gingerbread. This one's just a little bit more spicier. Um, Nog Champa and clothes on the line. Smells like laundry. That's from Rose Girls. That one's like the laundromat laundry. Like it's good, but like it giving me reminiscent vibes of the laundromat. <laughs> um, two loafs. Finally, these are from April of 2021. Carbs with Ghoul Friends, which is a fall blend that I finally finished, and Love You a Latte. I really need to get after my coffee blends, but I have finally got kind of a system down of how I'm doing my coffee blends. I have just a larger warmer, and it's in the open concept, and I've been switching out the dish. I hope this makes sense, but I um, 
it ha I have two little cups to put in there. So for the evening melts, I'll put what else I have going for the evening in that like cup and put it in there. And then I'll get the night before, get ready and put all my coffee blends into the other cup. And then in the morning, I'll switch on the warmer when I wake up and put in the coffee cup. But then I don't have to like throw out the other wax if I want to put it back on the warmer, if that makes sense. But also I can work on the coffee at the same time. Um, me and Jim are literally shocking each other because it's so dry in here. So that's how I've kind of been working through my coffee, which I need to continue to do, but it has been helping. So and then I just chopped up and I'm currently working on my loaf in Christmas Eve and cookie land. Sucker's full, but, and you're probably going to see this every week and get really annoyed with me talking about it, but I'm going to work on it and hopefully just go right through it. I don't know that I want to like work on it and hold some of it for later in the year, but don't quote me. I may do that. Um, okay. Okay. I have dunked my donut. I'm trying to work on some bakery because some of these are from 218 of last year, which is coming up quick. I hate to say it. Cream cheese frosting. I didn't love this one this last go around. I did it as much as I did prior. Like I remember when I first kind of did this, I was like, oh, that's so good. It comes alive so much when you warm it. And this last go around I did it. I wasn't super impressed. Warp Zone, this is from the Mario pre-order. It's Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs Peppermint and Vanilla Crunch Donuts. I don't, like, remember this one. Why? Uh, I don't remember doing this. I did it. I know I did, but, like, it didn't leave an impression on me. I don't know. I have cubes left. I will continue to work on them. I was going to say it was underwhelming, but I think that was potentially another one of these. I'll have to get back to you the next time I warm that. Um, have yourself a Merry Mario Christmas peppermint and peppermint mocha cookies and duck my donut. This is like a peppermint chocolate blend. So I've been doing this and I've been doing the peppermint hot chocolate. I've been doing this a lot of days in the mornings and it's so good. And I enjoyed this with it. This is more chocolate. The candle's more peppermint. Vanilla ice cream. I like this one. It's a really basic vanilla scent. Same here, Nilla Noel but I'm a basic vanilla girl, but I'm trying to use those up because they're getting about to their one year point. And I kind of just, I'm like, why am I holding on to these <laughs> just to be like, oh my gosh, I have to use them up. So I'm trying to work through my bakery stash. Marshmallow smoothie, vanilla scent. <laughs> you know me. And then Winter's, War Oreo's Winter Wonderland, candy cane, vanilla crunch donuts, eggnog and sugar cookies. I think this is the one that was kind of underwhelming. I was expecting it to be more, but it, I didn't get much from it. Like, I remember it going in my warmers, and I was just like, is it going? And the weird part is, I did this the day I did the candy cane wishes, because I was like, oh, they both kind of have, like, candy cane sweet minty blends, and I didn't get a whole lot of that. So, it was kind of odd. So, I'm going to try that again, but that's my first impression, I guess. So, these bags you might see on quite a rotation, but I'm just trying to work through them. They're kind of like in my melting basket right now. So that's probably why you will see them a lot. So long video, I will get back to being better about doing this more regularly. So I say, so, <laughs> um, because it just piles up so much and then I get like overwhelmed that my video is so long. Uh, but that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of my viewers. I think I have like over 25,000 subscribers recently. So thank you so much. That's so exciting. Uh, but before I talk your ear off anymore, I'll let you go. I'll see you next time. Bye.